ちのバカどもみんな石になっちまいやがった。So, hey guys, c h a l s e here. Time to do some Blackbeard and Burgess versus Arena. And the main thing I want to test here is to team build around Blackbeard's captain ability. And basically, he only boosts Driven and Powerhouse, but he wants you to have Slasher, Strikey, Shooter, and、uh, Fighter on the team. And of course, Burgess handles Fighter, but there's still three more classes to handle to get that 5.75 times attack boost. Actually, you can't even get that in increased damage taking conditional without fulfilling that captain ability. Which is honestly one of the worst parts of these units in practice. Super Claws is going to be very important here because with the Super Claws, we can always do the Blackbeard and Burgess special combo, which is incredibly powerful. I li really love using them as a hybrid captain. Like, you don't even need content that really fits them, they will still do a lot of work with the pure damage output. And basically, the way this works, you use Blackbeard's Super Claws to apply the, the, the damage reduction on the enemy. Then we use Burgess Special and we get the full board of strength. We get three turns of at attack boost and shame multiply boost. And then we use Blackbeard after that to get three turns of war boost, both those buffs three times. So we do insane damage on two stages. So, yeah. Made two teams here, all of them have all of the clauses I mentioned, like obviously Burgess Fighter, even double Burgess Fighter on this team. And then we have a Striker, a Shooter, and a Slasher. So in this team, I think it's pretty clear Sora is the Slasher, Tesoro is the Striker, and yeah, I found a random Shooter Fangirl here, even forgot her name, she's been so irrelevant recently. Flampe, that's it. And yeah, she's a shooter. I think she was a blitz booster or something. She can do two times Carl of Infinity Boost, so I have her as a filler for final stage. Not that I need the damage. We overkill insanely in this content. And yeah, this is another level 12 German ship. I made quite a few teams versus Arena Queen with this ship now. It's just the most fun ship to use for this content because it means that the three turn special reverse on stage four. Becomes two turns, and two turns is insanely more manageable than a three turn special reverse. So, a unit like Burgess, for example, here, the sub Burgess, the rare recruit, he naturally does minus two CDs with your ship and full color team. I easily handle it. Then we have the Lafitte support to remove the bind. Burgess also removes the spear, even gives color f in it as if we don't overkill enough already here. And yeah, now I do the combo I talked about. We're even going to add the Burgess Super to it to also have a base attack boost because why not? This is one of the bonuses of running them as a hybrid captain. Burgess is probably better suited to be a sub in general since he doesn't offer that much as captain. Except for being like minus two CD with Black Bear, and of course, they have that combo with him also giving base attack boost.、Uh, Tesoro, we have some guaranteed matching orbs for this stage and final stage. And we also get a very high chain lock, which I realized after building that it kind of conflicts with the chain boost from、uh, Burgess, the friend captain. But、eh, it's not a big deal. Like, it was mainly just for the orbs, I'd say. And there is decreased chain, so a chain lock is better in this situation. So, you have Flampe here. Gives you a call of unity if you have three or more inside decks, I think. And we have exactly three, so it's fine. And yeah, <laughs> probably one of the bigger O kills I've done. And we were barely even trying. It's just the natural strength of this Captain Pier. Anyway, I have a very fun final team in this video against Arena Caesar. I don't think I've ever done this much damage to Caesar, and I don't even have color affinity. Like, this content is supposed to be for int units, and I just run five strength units and a dex unit, so I never hit the color affinity. But despite that, like, one stage I only hit good versus Caesar and still. Do enough damage in a few hits. I've never done that much damage for this、uh, content. 
But yeah, uh, I decided right away I wanted to use Perspero on this team. He's a striker after all. Buggy shooter, scissor slasher. This scissor is actually really good for this content. I've never used him here before, but he was insanely clutch. I did never realize. But yeah, we use Perspero here just to lock the orbs. And the reason that, and the reason this is great is that now I'll keep these orbs forever, so I don't have to care about the poison orbs. But also the fact that I actually keep five strength orbs. So that means that we have the condition for Burgess, uh, for yeah, all of the specials as well. Thinking about it, I guess having five strength didn't matter actually, since Burg. Well, it did matter because Burgess can't change orbs. I'm retracing my own train of thought here. But yeah. So yeah, we can't use Burgess to get the five orbs of the same type that Backbeard needs, but we're able to keep them with removing poison as well as Perospero. So yeah, this is a very fun combo with all this Orochi. He only removes three turns of debuffs, but he has a support to remove one turn more of Bind Attack to spare. And then we have the ships to remove Bind Attack. So with all of those together, he can actually remove the five turns we need here, while also being a strength and a powerhouse, which we basically had no options for this stage other than Orochi if I wanted to run five strength plus Perospero. And also mono driven powerhouse. So I'm happy it's worked out. So yeah, I only have Buggy for this stage. His sailor is very nice for stage three as well though. He removes the paralysis here, literally everything he does, while being a shooter, so we get that maximum captain ability. And yeah, now we do the Blackbeard and Burgess combo again. And yeah, this is going to be very nice for the entire final stage since the final stage here is three turns. And these buffs last for three turns, we have insane damage for three turns. And for once, the shame boost is actually going to be really good, since we'll be able to pair that up with the shame boundary from Caesar uh, on the second turn here. And you'll see what I mean by Caesar being perfect. Like, what happens on the revive is that we get the spear, chain lock, burn. Burn is like whatever most of the time. So not only do we remove all of that, we even get that shame boundary. So we can further balloon the chain we get from Burgess's chain boost. So that's really clutch. And we also apply a poison so we get, can get re re around resilience. Uh, the only problem left is that there's death up on the final turn. But, and I've never hit through that death up, it's pretty high. But here, with this damage, no problem at all. I, base, I, I just kill in two hits. So yeah. That's a Blackbeard and Burgess showcase with all classes. Thanks for watching, guys. See you next time.